just in case you guys missed the segment, Triple H just came out on Monday Night Raw to present this beautiful, badass new WWE Championship. What does that mean for Rome and Cody and everyone else? Well, it's definitely going to be a part of whatever show Roman is not. Triple H was very loud and clear about this, and he made sure that he bashed Roman as much as he could. He said, hey, when Roman became champ, he made sure he didn't have to defend the title too much. He made sure when he signed on the dotted line and extended his contract, he got less days and it worked for him. But we need a fighting champion. We need something on the show you guys can be proud of. Now, I am paraphrasing. Triple H didn't say word for word exactly what I'm saying, but Triple H definitely went to town on Roman. And when they revealed this brand new title just a couple minutes ago, man, I'm just thinking about all the endless possibilities because we were robbed from that for the last year. It's been one year of Roman Reigns holding the main event scene for the main title hostage. And Triple H did not hold back at all. He made it very loud and clear that they want another main championship to be defended week in, week out, all over the world without Roman Reigns holding them back. And this solves the issue of when should Roman drop the belt? Who's going for the title? Well, it just depends. It really means a lot now to tune in to Friday Night SmackDown and Monday Night Raw next week to see where each you know superstar gets drafted because wherever Roman is not, that means that title is going to be a part of that show. I'm thinking Roman may end up on Raw. I'm not sure because remember, Raw is a three-hour show. So it's one of those shows where they can continue to promote other talent and give opportunities. So they may very well put Roman on Raw. I don't know, but either way, whichever brand gets this beautiful title, I mean, this title demands respect. Exactly, Jay. Sexy as hell. Bro, this title demands respect. It looks like a world-class championship, and I I, I, can't, I could barely tell what the emblems around look like, and I'm just still hyped and overjoyed that it looks as good as it does. It's one of the better titles. It reminds me of Big Gold. It reminds me of one of the classic titles. Very classy move on WWE's end. Whoever designed this title really left it all out there. Uh, man... I'm just excited to see what the hell is going to happen. So Triple H came out swinging tonight with one of the best freaking announcements we have gotten in quite some time, especially outside of the draft. I really got hyped for the draft. If you didn't see that video, it's up on the channel, but I did get hyped for the draft. But this got me even more excited because, you know, bashing Roman Reigns and, and, and looking in the mirror and saying, you know, Roman, there's very few that can stand tall with Roman. But at the end of the day, he was smart. But for us in WWE, we need a defending champ. I am looking forward to see who the hell competes. Let's see this Friday on SmackDown. And what does the future hold for the future champion of WWE?